Time now for another performance from a man who learnt to play the classical guitar at the age of eight. By the time he was 14, he was already playing major concert theatres. And by the grand old age of, well, 16, he had won a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music. He is about to embark on a worldwide recital tour. Ladies and gentlemen, the extremely talented Milosh. It's now time for the inaugural Classic Brits Single of the Year Award. And to present it, we have a double Olympic champion. Please welcome the inspirational Victoria Pendleton. With so many fantastic singles to choose from, I'm surprised the judges even managed to choose a shortlist 
let alone a winner. I don't envy their decision at all. So let's take a look at this year's nominees. Single of the Year in association with iTunes. Igiorni. Wherever you are. Barber's Adagio for Strings. Nessun Dorma. Gabriel's Oboe. Adi Amos. Time, Inception, original soundtrack. He's a pirate. Curse of the Black Pearl, original soundtrack. Jerusalem. Rule Britannia. And the winner of the Classic Brits Single of the Year is, and I'm excited about this, wherever you are, military wives and gallant morale. The single Wherever You Are sold over half a million copies within a week of being released and reached the Christmas number one spot in 2011. Working with Gareth Malone, Paul Neelor wrote the hit track using words from letters exchanged by servicemen and their partners on a tour of duty in Afghanistan. Um, I wish there were a time machine and I could go back to 1987 and say, Gareth, stick with the choir, um, because uh, one day there will be a Christmas number one for a choir. Uh, there will be... Um, there will be this beautiful award, and thank you very much for this. Um, I, would, I would really like to thank everyone at the BBC, everyone at 2020 Television, and everyone at DECA for supporting this crazy notion um, that we might have a, a, a hit record at Christmas. Um, I, of course, think that this entirely belongs to uh, the wives of, of Chivener and the wives of, of Plymouth and their fine, fine achievement. Long may they continue to sing. Thank you, Gareth. It's um, deeply humbling as playing a small part in writing the music to be part of this great, great endeavour. You have got the whole of this country singing. Thank you. Still to come, a tribute to John Williams and a special performance of Sing. <laughs> 